Hi friends, thank you very much for joining me once again. Now today I'll be giving you my top 7 choral concert audience etiquette. Now these tips can actually be applied to other kind of concerts, but if you have yours, drop those in the comment section. Now in case you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so right now. Thank you very much. Now before we go into my top 7 choral concert audience etiquette, now I'd like to say this. Now the reason why I'm doing this particular video is um, the fact that I've been in concerts in the past where the audience, or do I say some sections of the audience, seem not to understand the kind of concerts they are attending. You know, some felt it was um, the normal um, popular music concert where they can shout and jump and, you know, do different things at different time or whenever they felt like. But these, I believe, um, would help those who fall into that category to understand the concept and the etiquette behind choral uh, concerts, orchestra concerts and those kind of concerts. Now, here are my tips. Number one, Arrive at the concert hall on time. Don't be the last person to be seated. You know, and if you arrive after a piece has started, wait until the piece is over before entering the concert hall. That is very important. Number two, be sure to turn off or silence your cell phone before entering a concert hall. Number three, do not talk or whisper during the performance. Remember not to distract the performers with your noise. No, these are performers that they need some level of concentration, so it's not nice to distract them with your noise. Number four, remain seated except for intermission and the end of the concert, of course. You know, it's advisable that you do not leave unless you are truly ill and have to leave the concert hall to avoid distraction to the performers. Number five, do not clap until you are sure that a piece is finished. A lot of people do this. They clap when it is not necessary. Now, if the piece has several sections, it is usually not appropriate to clap between the sections. When in doubt, like I would always say, wait to see what the rest of the audience is doing. You don't have to be the first person to applaud anyways. Number six, whistling, whooping, or shouting is not appropriate at any type of choral concert. You know, it is not allowed to shout, you know, to whistle in a uh, concert like this. Number seven, be discreet in the use of your program during the performance. Now, I understand the fact that many people refer to their program during a piece, especially if they are following the text of a choral piece. You know, it's very understandable. But the point is this. Be cautious that you don't drop it or make very noisy page turns. These are my top seven choral concert audience etiquette. Now, if you have yours, kindly drop those in the comment section. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye-bye.